so starts from the information board to the south of the car park take a path running southeast as the car park shortly go through a gate cross a bridge and continue along the track so that was a long bridge heading southeast after a few minutes when the main track bends left turn right onto a path initially heading south the path soon fords a stream and then continues southwest follow the frequent frequent way marks for the morn way we're taking that path south has been felled. Immediately after the moss rock keep straight ahead along the left side of the forest Morn way, way marks after a few minutes ford another stream and continue on the path southwest cross a stile and continue southwest on the track. Yeah, so completely gone to the to the timber industry. This has confused me though. Scottish woodlands. Now we're fording another stream. Oh dear, oh dear. Deer tracks. Some absolutely giant slabs of granite. See where they've been worked. Old school. Okay, so this is the style we're crossing. Densely planted they are. Farm fencing of the future. but what do they mean? <laughs> Keep on the track until you meet another track, turn left, it's the Morn Way. This track heads uphill and then bends to the left away from the Yellow Water River. Do not cross the bridge, that's the bridge. Take care here as you'll be crossing mountain bike tracks. After 10 minutes of climbing at the junction of the tracks, follow the main track round to the right and continue uphill. Okie dokie, be wary of mountain bikes. They're not mucking about. Oh, well, we can't cross here even if we wanted to. So we're 
going this way. Got some incredible wilderness. Screaming trout. Possibly the most lovely marked bit of tree root sticking out here. Look at it. All marbled. <laughs> and the award for most attractive tree root goes to. Got the art pump in there. Back onto this track, heading east. After a few more minutes, leave the track in favour of a grassy path on your left. This junction is easy to miss. If you reach a bridge on the track, then you have gone slightly too far. The grass, grassy path proceeds north, up through a clearing between trees. Soon the path becomes faint and the trees close in. At a fork, a faint paths turn left, crossing a small footbridge and heading into the trees. The path between the trees initially heads uphill, but soon bends to the right. Okay, so not that way, that way. Right, so this is the grassy path that's easy to miss, not the one before. Yeah, I'm going to assume that bridge that we shouldn't be going over is down there. That away. Yep, going the right way. Small footbridge heading into the trees. Arrive at a low sheep fence. There used to be a stile here, but it has disappeared. It has disappeared. Continue on the muddy path uphill northeast. Yeah, it was. Pretty muddy. Northeast. The peaks to your right are Eagle Mountain, being there, and Shan Leave. Shan Leave. Eagle Mountain, Shan Leave. Let's come a little way off the beaten path to. Uh, this little rocky feature here. Just uh, took myself out of the way and uh, got something to eat. Show you some views, some rugged nature. That's that forest we come through. I'm going over this ridge. But first, sandwiches. I like little places like this. Just, you can just tuck yourself out of the way. Not that there's a soul around, but on a weekend there might be. And places like this are good for shelter out the wind. Not too bad today, but huge chunks of granite. How do they get here? Nature, innit? So for lunch today, we've got um, cheese and jalapeno bread from Tesco's. A bit of mature cheddar with Branston pickle, small chunk. Delicious. Right, we'll have a quick check of the map while we're here. So, we started here. Lead trim, let trim, light trim, lodge. Part there, came across, forded that little stream, followed this track along here, all the way down to the other side of the map.
trail here. That was the bridge where, well, it was cut, it was kind of blocked off, but I said not to cross. And came up through this forest, following the Yellow Water River. And now we're up onto these fells. Um, so we're kind of going to continue, I guess, this way. Yeah, because Eagle Mountain and Shan Leave. circular route. So let's crack on. We have arrived at said dry stone wall which is the Morn Wall which is quite a feat especially when it goes pretty much vertical. Quite a feat of building that. So it's just literally over this and then straight on that way. Pretty rugged. See here, look, the contrast between the countryside as we think of it in the UK, which is just arable agricultural land. And, you know, moorland, peatland, rugged nature, mountains, rocky crags stuff untamed yeah soon the path bends around to the east and arrives at a junction of tracks turn left okay this is the junction that's left turn left and proceed along an old raised bog road overhead you will see the small boulder strewn peak that pierces castle. So yeah, you can definitely see that that's like an old road that's been raised. And that must be Pierce's castle. So let's go and check it out. of the old peat bog road. Turn right and head initially southeast. Soon the track bends off to the left and makes its way north directly towards Pierce's Castle. Not any offshoots on the right. So I'm going to walk that way to end up there. So where we've come from.
top of the castle. Well, here we are. The highest point done. Pierce's Castle, summited. Apparently a lot of the uh, areas around here were used for um, like the the land around Winterfell in Game of Thrones. You can see why. Some straight edge. Okay, so we've done Pierce's Castle. We had a good look round, pretty cool. And now we are going to proceed to the left of the enormous boulder at the summit, which is that beast. And we're going that away. Heading down to the north, shortly afterwards there is a steep rock step and it may be advisable to descend rather unflatteringly on your ass. And then the path descends north east, slightly to the right of the ridge. Okay, okay, let's go. Yeah, it does actually look pretty steep. Give it a go. Yeah, it's not too bad. It looks worse than it is. Okay, just after the rock step, the path descends to the northeast, slightly to the right of the ridge. So that's where we've come from, the rock step. That's where we're going. To the right of that ridge. So we're leaving Pierce's castle. Got his hat on. Turn rock. Pierce his castle. Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Keep to the left of the rocky outcrops and descend right towards Rocky Mountain. Okay, I was wrong again. That wasn't the summit. Summit. This is the west. So, well, we're not lost anyway. Blue sky. Oh. Beast of a rocky outcrop. Final destination. Well, apart from the end, obviously. Pretty cool, that. I wonder if anyone ever comes and crash mat and does a bit of bouldering.
I digress. Slap bag in the middle now. It's a colourful shape at the summit. Lamps. Summit. It's a windy one. Oh, Rocky Mountain, Sheep Mountain. The Arable Mountains of the North. This is the Southern Mountains. So that's where we are, the top of Rocky Mountain. And that's that. So there's different tours. The tower, which I guess is the biggest, West Tower, and the two uh, South Tower, Summit Tower. That's the maybe Summit Tower, but that's probably the biggest one. Yeah, let's go there though, that looks pretty cool. Carlingford Lock. We can indeed. Right there, there's a sea lock. Southwest, head west across the summit on the fern path, silver path. Against the descent. Steeply to the southwest towards the track. It's a loach. Scars starting to look a bit moody. It won't lie in. It's pretty steep descent. You can't really tell, but it definitely drops off. And we're kind of just going over there. That's where the car's parked in them trees. Yeah, it's definitely uh, steep and not much of a path at all. I guess no one comes this way. So here we are, back on the uh, back on the trail to the car park. That's the start. And little did I know that that was the finish. So summit that. I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, Rocky Mountain. And it's quite a steep descent down. So yeah, good walk. Back at the car park, some information boards. Pause if you want to read any of it. Here we go, look, that's the Game of Thrones thing, north of Winterfell. <laughs> 